We continue on with the McNeese Cowgirls and Coach Casey Cryer looking at their schedule from last season. 12 and 18 overall, 8 and 10 in the Southland, and you're returning some nice talent. Coach Cryer, first of all, I want to talk to you about your offseason. Very productive. I know that one of the things you wanted to concentrate on was really building that chemistry, not just on the hardwood, but off the hardwood, because you know that if you have that chemistry on and off the hardwood, it creates magic. Talk about what you all did. Yeah, no question. We've been really, we have eight new players this year, and to go along with our five returners that we're really excited about. We knew that we needed to build team chemistry with this group and they've been working really hard community service just doing things together and uh, you can really see it as we began practice how close they really are and two of those players are coming off of injuries I know that it's always an unfortunate deal when you lose players to injuries but talk about what they are expected to do when they contribute to the team this year and coming back on the hard way. yeah you know Callie Maddox she's a 3,000 point scorer coming out of high school <clears throat> so we're expecting her to score you know and come in and make some impact right away and quell Jock quell Robinson also she's point guard and we're going to need her presence and uh, just just experience um, early so we're excited to get them back the brand new facility it's going to be opening any day now the Houston Rockets actually had they their did. training camp there that's so cool we're in their house as we speak I know and I want to know from you as a coach I know it's exciting to be able to have a facility like that but how important is it to you all as a campus to be able to have this new arena that's just so beautiful and contributes so much to yeah this, campus? this arena is is awesome and it's what we need in Lake Charles for our community and just having a place where people can go to and and it's not far out on in Lake Charles and, and having the students an opportunity to go and walk across the street to come watch us play so we're really excited to uh, have it I know and as a coach it's so wonderful when you get to coach in a brand new atmosphere and you get to set a legacy there have you told your women that you know that you get to come out here with the bang you have this brand new facility it's a brand new start this is where you need to take advantage of this opportunity yeah they know you know they know they're the team that's going to open up in it and they are there will be in history forever but they're just embracing it. They just work hard every day, and they're going to be excited to play wherever we can, and that's what I love about this group. Well, Coach Cryer, we're excited for you. Let's look at some of those key dates on your schedule. So we look at the season opener at Grambling. You stay in Louisiana for UL Lafayette, and then you stay in Louisiana a few more times. You head on the road to Baton Rouge and LSU, and then Louisiana Tech at home before you have your Southland opener versus Incarnate Word. When you play a school like LSU in Baton Rouge, I know obviously it's an in-state rivalry. It is. How exciting is that for you as a coach, and what do you tell your players in your program before you head into a matchup like that? It's awesome you know, to have an opportunity to play at LSU, and we have a lot of girls from Louisiana, so they get it, and they understand the history and what it's about to go play in there and so I just think it's a great opportunity for all of us to be able to go compete against uh, LSU and and we have a tough uh, tough schedule this year a tough non-conference schedule that we're really excited about it's going to help us prepare for conference